Right then, hi then everyone. I just want to talk to you about something that I as a golfer and I think a lot of golfers struggle with, which is the concept of early extension. Now you might have heard of early extension a lot. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of amazing drills that will really help you stop doing this as much. It's an absolute killer early extension. I suffer from it myself. You know, I'm a scratch golfer. Um, Focusing on speed training a lot the last few years has really made it worse. So I'm going to show you some tips that I've been getting from my coach that are really going to help you. So stay tuned for these. When you put these two together, it's going to make a lot of difference. So tip number one, alignment. Use some alignment sticks. Alignment sticks only cost a couple of quid. They're brilliant. So first of all, they come in pairs. Get the first one. Make sure you're lining up to the target. Now, let me first of all show you what early extension is. It's the idea that when you're coming into the swing, that instead of turning around the shot, you throw yourself up. So it's like you're standing up into the shot. You come through it like this, and to get more power, you, you go up into it, and it alters. Look how much it alters. You should be coming in kind of square. And when you thrust into it, it lifts the shaft angle. And what it does as well, if I'm supposed to be coming in Say that's the ball there. If my impact's supposed to be there, look what happens when I go like that. The hosel, the hosel gets closer to the ball and that's when you get shanks. That's what happens for me. I get shanks, you'll get shanks. So look, what we need to do is a couple of things here. The first drill is brilliant. Let's get a ball here. So we only wanna do kind of 50%, 60% swings. My problem and potentially other people's problems is this all stems from having too much activity in your top half in your chest. So I get to the top and then my arms and my chest are saying, go, 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 go. And they want to fire through. And that's where I get this kind of lift with my hips into it and bad things happen. So first drill, get to the top of your swing and step away with your left foot like this through the shot. So it will feel really weird, but step away and hit. To the top, step away and hit. What that means is that it's physically impossible to early extend through it like this, because watch, as you step backwards, if you try and early extend, you basically have to go on one foot and you're gonna fall over. So let's see how much difference this makes. Or at least how it looks. The setup normal, little three quarters, now, it's hard, isn't it? I've not hit that very well at all. I've thinned it. But I sure as hell haven't shanked it. Let's try that again. So there, like that. I haven't done this for a while, so let's see. Let's try again. There we go. Dead straight. Look at that. Tiny little fade. I barely swung that, and it's gone 146 yards with a 7 iron. Do that one more time. And you'll start noticing other things. It's not all about distance and accuracy. You'll see the flight of the shot going lower, which means you're presenting the right amount of loft at the club. You're not. When you do that and early extend, you'll see it opens up the loft and it creates more loft, which will make more spin and probably more out to the right shots. By coming into it like that, you'll see you're keeping the loft down and probably actually flattening it a bit so it ends up going much lower let's try again one more little one here oh i might just swing like this on the golf course to be honest tiny little fade 152 okay look at that lovely so that's the first drill now the second drill i've been with my coach using with a uh, exercise resistance band um, and you kind of need to attach it to something else or have someone holding it for you the idea being that you hook one bit in through your leg up to your knee and it's anchored opposite you um, this works with the idea that when you get to the top so similar to moving your leg away your left leg away when you get to the top you are straightening your left leg 
So you're moving your cough back away from you. So you get to the top and that's kind of the first action. You pop back and then you come down and around. So let's try that, not with the band, haven't got a band here or anyone to hold it or anything to anchor it to, but I can still do the left leg pop. We come a little bit closer, so if I stand a bit sideways on so you can see, this left calf is going to pop back at the top of my swing. And ideally what you want is the idea that to start all good swings, the transition starts with the left hip moving slightly left at the top. So you get to the top, pop left, and then that left calf pops back. Because again, you can't really extend from there. Your left leg is straightened. It's kind of impossible to do it. You fall over. So look, pop, extend back, and then you see you're over it, you're more anchored. All you can do is now turn your hips and pivot through and you stay over it so much more. So let's try that one. There we go, a bit toey, but that's okay. Yeah, flattened again. See, now my coach wants me to get my launch down below 15. That was 17 there. So I still have some work to do. That was lovely. That was out in the middle. And that has gone dead straight. There we go. 18 launch. So the other part of this, this is all really about your hip turn. Like I'm very static in the hips. Most other golfers are as well. When I get to the top, like I said, my arms want to go and fire, which isn't great. It's come from all the speed training I've done the last three years. So when I get to the top, it's that pop left and straighten the leg. And then I want to hold them to my top as long as possible and get those hips working through. So if you've got a pair of sticks, the other one, just feed it through your belt buckle like so. Okay, and you want quite a lot sticking out the other end. The idea here is that you get to the top and you do the same drill, popping your leg, your calf back, and then you want your hips to be rotating around and you want this stick as far rotated around as possible before the club comes through. It's very tricky. It takes a lot of repetitions to get this. So to the top of the swing, pop, rotate those hips through, and we really want it at that angle there. So you can see, probably on the camera here, that all I can do now is rotate around. And the last little tiny bit to this, I know there's a few steps here, is as you're coming through and you pop those hips through, you want that feeling that your arms and hands are rotating low and left through the shot, that way. And that's going to just further aid in getting that consistent, more neutral flight. Again, something else I would do because of the early extension and going through like that, I'd feel like I was pushing out that way. Really don't want that. It's not great at all. That just is another thing that's going to lead to a shank. Get to top, pop, hips through, and rotate low and left like that. So let's see if I can do it with the stick in. This is the last thing to put together here. Yeah, that was good. So neutral. A little bit heavy. 17. Let's just see if I can knock it down a 15 launch. Really want to get that 15 launch for my golf coach. Was that? For... I think I was still a bit high. 16. That's not bad. That's nearly there. Okay, so you can see if you put all those drills together and you really grind them in, that's going to make a huge difference to stopping doing that through impact. It'll keep you over the ball. It'll get your hips working through more and it will shallow your path up and it will mean that you've got a much more neutral flight. If you're going to miss slightly left or right, it's going to be much more fractional. It's going to get your dispersion together and it's hopefully going to eliminate your shanks completely and lower your scores. Guys, if you like that, please think about subscribing because that will also, so I'm told, lower your scores even more. Thanks for watching.